In the year 2119, three men and an intrepid crew search the galaxies. This is Starflight, Starflight, Starflight. Starring Captain Dave Michaels. First Science Officer Jack Stein. And Chief Medical Officer Billy Army. Start flight date 2120. After several hours, Dr. Army was able to stabilize Lieutenant Stein. Unfortunately, there was nothing that could be done for his face. He's coming around now, Dave. Can't believe he survived the attack. You know those Lookalar, a formidable beast to be sure, Captain. Uh, I feel like I ate an entire chocolate cake. Chocolate cake? It's Stein's alien blood, Captain. Dang, gray-blooded alien. Must be a reaction to one of the sedatives I gave him. He'll be fine. His DNA is similar to a bull. How do you feel, Stein? Ready for duty, Captain Dave. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what is that infernal sound? That's the transport alarm. <laughs> Craig, Captain, my sensors are picking up an anomaly within the transport. Hold on a second. Now I'm picking up what appears to be a black hole. A vortex, Captain Dave Michaels. Vortex? Ah, jeez. Stein, what are your sensors reading? Sensors? Captain, we're about to become cheese whiz. Stein? Army, are you here? Here, Captain Dave Michaels. Here also, Captain. Wherever the hell here is. I think... It is. This is Earth. This is the Old West. Well, isn't that great? It's all fine and good, but how are we going to get back to the ship, Captain? The ship is gone, Dr. Billy Army. 1080 is no longer picking up my signal. It appears we are stuck wherever this is. Morning, Six Horse. Morning. <laughs> Did he just say Six Horse? What are you staring at, Dave? Did he just say stick six horse? Yeah, yeah, he did. To so that man uh, wearing the eye patch over there. One eyed Charlie? One eyed Charlie, Captain Dave Michaels. I don't believe it. It is. This is Watsonville. The year 1860. That man with the eye patch is the famous stagecoach driver, Charlie Parkhurst. Thanks for the history lesson, Captain. But how are we going to get off this rock and back to the ship? Previously to the vortex and the anomaly, I have a coordinate in my scanner. If I have a way of boosting the signal, I may be able to reconnect with 1080 and have us retransported back to our correct time and space. Sounds great. How do we do that? I require one AA battery. This is 1860. There are no batteries. Take it easy, Army. Look at us as being stuck here as an opportunity. A mini vacation, if you will. Smell that air. Clean, pure. It smells like manure. The Dr. Billy Army is correct, Captain Dave Michaels. See you at the saloon tonight, Charlie. The saloon? Army, Stein, gather what you require to get us back in contact with the ship. In the meantime, let's take a look around this quaint little town. Meet me back at the saloon this evening. Gentlemen, where could one acquire a horse this time of day? Mini vacation, he says. <sighs> Come on, Stein. Let's find what we need and get out of here. Yes, Dr. Billy Army. I had read about Charlie as a boy. The legend of one-eyed Charlie, six-horse Charlie. One of the best stagecoach drivers of all time. I had asked around the town and tracked Charlie down just outside the town. Target practicing. I knew, if nothing else, this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that I could not pass up. Charlie Darkey Parkhurst. Who's asking? My name is Captain, that is, Captain Dave Michaels. Dave Michaels, huh? What are you a captain of? I don't talk to strangers. I'm not exactly a stranger, or I should say, you're no stranger to me. In history, I mean, you're well known. Well, some people have heard of me, so what do you want? You need a ride on my coach? Next coach leaves tomorrow for Santa Clara. Actually, I just wanted to talk to you. I don't take much stock in talking, Mr. Michaels. I doubt you would. Growing up in that orphanage like you Excuse did... Excuse me? I know you. Oh, you need to tell me more, stranger. 
You were born in New England in 1812. You grew up in an orphanage in New England. Then you ran away, and you, well, you became who you are. You came to California in 1868 like so many seeking the fortune of gold, and you lost your eye. An accident when your horse was spooked, and, well, you know. I believe I've heard enough. Looking, Are you looking to get shot, Mr. Michaels? No, no, I'm not. I believe you better get back on that horse, go back to wherever you came from. You have beautiful eyes, Mrs. Parkhurst. <laughs> How? You've been thinking about voting. Ten years from now, you will. The ultimate act of... Since everyone believes... Yeah, they believe I'm a man because I'm better than ten men and I have proven it. I understand. I didn't mean to offend you. How did you know that I... I'm sorry. It was an honor, it was an honor meeting you. It's uh, getting late. My crew is back at the saloon and I must get going. All right. Bye, curious stranger. <laughs> Captain, try some of this sour whiskey mash. Best I've ever had. Captain Dave Michaels, Billy Army, Dr. Billy Army is drunk. I'm not drunk, Stein. I'm slightly inebriated. And I should know I'm the doctor. He has a point there, Stein. Did you make any progress on the battery? I did, Captain Dave Michaels. I've made contact with the ship, and we are ready to beam back. The vortex will hit Earth before we return to this Earth atmosphere within this hour. And if we transport at the same time, we should return back to 1080 ship in our time. Great work, Stein. Uh, Captain? Uh <laughs> So that's where you've been, out cavorting with the ladies. Who's the lady? That's One-Eyed Charlie. Why is he wearing a dress? Keep an eye on Army. Let me know when we're ready to transport. Yes, Captain Dave Michaels. Get your hands off of me, Stein. I'm perfectly fine. What are you doing out dressed like this? Anyone could see you. Not really. I wear this big hat. It covers the eye, so... So that's your crew, huh? You must uh, know a little bit about what it's like to be out of place in your own time. Like now. You aren't from here, are you? Far from it. You have kind eyes. Thank you. For what? For being you. What you mean to people. Captain, the vortex is approaching. Uh, vortex? Any second now, Captain Dave Michaels. A vortex? Stein, Captain, I hope this doesn't hurt. I'm not sure what is about to happen, Captain, but the way you're looking at me, I suggest you kiss me now before... We're transporting now, Captain Dave Michaels. Goodbye, Mrs. Parkhurst. Join us next time for the continuing adventures of Starflight. Only on KSCO. This is Billy Army, and thanks for listening. You can follow me at all the usual social media sites. If you enjoy the content, uh, skip the whatever you want to call it. Please support the channel by liking and subscribing. Hit the button, as they say. You can also consider donating to the channel in the following links below. Have a great one, everybody.